definitely off balance that time. Excellent defense. And the pass goes to Daniels. Won't go up against Stoyakovic. Stoyakovic now picking up Percy. Down low. Duncan kicked away. Loose ball. Porter has it. Fires a three and it's deflected. Blocked. Oh, John out. Barry is coming to the game, and Barry finding Weber inside the basket by Weber and the foul. John Barry threw a bullet down court. His first game since coming off the injured list, and the Kings coming back after an 11 to nothing run by the Spurs. That was an outstanding pass by Barry, a great catch, and then th this is just a wonderful finish by Weber. Now just watch how hard he gets hit. Now you can see Kersey's from the old school. He's going to make you pay if you're going for the layup. But what you try to do is try not to give up the field goal and a potential three. Weber can't make the three. John Barry back in action after an irritated the cervical nerve on his neck. As you look at the time remaining, the shot clock on the left, the first quarter clock on the left. It's an eight point Kings lead. Daniels, Duncan setting a screen. Three on the shot clock, and Duncan did not have control. It's blocked inside. Scott Pollard got a piece of it, and Williams over his head threw a blind shot up, and it went over the shot clock. Welcome back. The Spurs now trail by just four points. It's 28-32. Porter driving in. Pollard blocks it from behind. Out of bounds. And a great play by but it will still be San Antonio ball. And now they are ruling that Pollard got the body on Porter, and he is called for his second. Now, just a smart play. Watch, watch Porter go underneath the rim right here. See, when you do that, you take away the shot-blocking ability of the big man, and then by him stretching, he forced the contact to go Terry's way. A smart move by Terry in the open floor. Always change sides, come up strong on the underneath, and you'll get that body contact. And here's Terry Porter, and how uh, crucial is Terry Porter in the playoff hopes of the Spurs with his perimeter shooting? Well, you get the defense, Dick. Last year at Miami, you got the 11 points. You get the defense, you get the 84% foul shooting, and then another 40% three-point shooter. And there are very few guys in this league who can do that at playoff time. He does it during the year, but he also bangs it in at that number at playoff time. Here's John Barry with a runner in and out, and Barry uh, mugging uh, Robinson. He was all over him and committing the personal foul. But your uh, point's about... Porter and of course uh, the Spurs uh, fell down a notch when Porter was out for those 13 games with the sprained knee but uh, a true warrior as Pat Riley uh, called him last year when he was with well him. he's such a solid player because he plays both ends of the floor he can play the point guard or the two guard position and you know he wants the big shot Duncan always wants the big shot and he goes strong against Pollard as he hits the floor hard and uh, Pollard uh, they really uh, trying to defend uh, Duncan and getting the worst of it. See, right there, Porter went right back in and picked up Duncan's man. One point game, but Barry driving the baseline. John Barry, who has been really the key of, of an outstanding second unit for the Kings. The Spurs, nonetheless, on a 20-6 run here. It's a three-point lead for Sacramento, winding down to eight minutes to go in the first half. Pollard getting a piece of the ball and also the hand of Duncan. So Pollard getting into foul trouble, trying to defend Tim Duncan to no avail. You can see Duncan is smarting. You know, he labored on his way down the floor when he hit the floor. Now, as he goes by him right now, he gets fouled, and then you're going to see he goes down, and he jams the leg in some way, and he labored going down and coming back. Jaron Jackson into the game for the first time for the Spurs. Debots replacing Pollard, and here is David Robinson, and the three-point attempt by is good and what a play by Antonio Daniels Daniels getting the three and getting a road bounce on the rim yes I would say so little home cooking roll there except we know that Daniels is not a great three-point shooter he struggles only at 28 percent but he'll take that friendly bounce every time Stoyakovich missed the last shot and Jaron Jackson can't fake Stoyakovich on the defensive end Robinson over Demons with a quick shot don't give Robinson much room because he loves hitting from there 
So from as much as 17 points behind, San Antonio now have the lead, although you wouldn't know it to look at their coach. As we rejoin, it's 39-36. And Anderson getting it over to Stoyakovich and the, the words go soon around your mouth and Stoyakovich filling on the fast break to getting the points on the turnover. It's a one-point game. Yeah, see, Sacramento leads the league in forcing turnovers. They, they turn it over at between 18 and 19 a game. They play the passing lanes well. David Robinson not happy with the way he got that pass from Walker. Now Walker against Nick Anderson trying to body him away. Thunderbird knocks it in the air. And a good play by Thunderbird and feeding Anderson to Derek Martin. And the Kings once again fast breaking. But the Spurs broke back to lead by a single point at halftime in this seesaw struggle. However, as we joined the third quarter, San Antonio have stepped up a gear and stretched that advantage to 10 points. It's 63-53. Trying to draw the foul and doesn't get the call from the official. Williams coming back and hits a three. And that's one thing Jason Williams can give a team. He can give them instant resounding comeback yeah and i want to tell you something dick that was an incredibly off-balance shot i mean he came up going to his left stopped on a dime and shot the three here is david robinson with a hook shot tipped up and in by robinson robinson did not give up on the first shot came around on the baseline and tipped it in well that's his ballerina type of quickness jason williams trying for another three he hit one moments ago a nine-point lead for San Antonio. Ellie going in again to Robinson. Remember, Devots playing with 3,000 on the turnover. Ellie chasing Jason Williams. Uh, he shot Ellie right there. Ellie thought that he was going to block that shot. And Jason Williams set that down. Definitely surprised. Oh, he Ellie. turned on the Jets yeah, he sure did. in the last moment. And there is Avery Johnson penetrating, knocked away. Devots in the middle of it. Williams behind his back. And Sean Elliott will pick it off. And a foul is called by the lot. A flare and splash from Jason Williams. The foul is on Mario Elliott, his second. Right now, let's quickly check in with Reggie Fias. Hey, Dick, if you see Jason Williams getting more aggressive, it may be because in that last timeout, Coach Adamans turned to him and said, listen, Jason, you can beat their point guard anytime you want. We have to get our aggressiveness back. We're playing too slow in this third quarter. So Jason Williams is obviously beginning to get a taste for this tussle, and as we rejoin the action, the Kings have cut the deficit to just five points. It's 60-65. The lead is down to five. Duncan, baseline against Weber, the double team and the steal by Jason Williams. Three on two break, no look pass to Nick Anderson, and it's a three-point game. And that became two points as the third quarter winds down. And the score is 73 to 71 in favor of the Spurs. That's how much time remains here in the third quarter. Sacramento led by eight after one. The Spurs led by one at the half. And the Kings turn it over with 25.7 remaining in the third. I right, see that's what happened. Jason Williams left his feet that time, thinking pass first. You never do that in the lane area. Because if they take away the passing lanes, which they did, they're going to force you into a turnover. San Antonio Spurs who are playing their final game on the road this season in the regular campaign. With four more left in the regular year, all at home, including the Lakers on TBS next week. Five on the shot clock. Sean Elliott finding Antonio Daniels. An air ball. And they said that the shot clock expired, so we'll see how much time is on that game clock as the Kings have one more chance. 2.3, and that's enough time. Oh, it's good enough time to catch the ball and get in the dribble before you take your shot. You're trying to look up the floor now.